That's why I always stay ready. Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video. I know it's been a while, but it's your boy Takio, and we're back with another World Zero video. Now, this video is gonna be something a little different compared to what I usually upload. Now, this video, we're gonna be going over three features that I think World Zero should have, because they, honestly, I really think they need these features. Uh, it will, you know, bring a bunch of new members to the game, and a bunch of new people to the game. It will increase the community and also just give a bunch of replayability to the game. I mean, with the rebirth system being added and new classes, that does help out a little bit. But these features, I feel like, would just overall make the game way better and it would just, you know, it would just boost the player count and the numbers way higher. So, uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and actually talk about these features. All right, so coming in at number three, we have survival mode. Now, survival mode would be a wave survival game mode where you have to survive 10 waves with different types of enemies attacking you. And let's say if you, you, know, you do end up surviving, you win those 10 waves, uh, you'll be given like a bunch of gold, a bunch of XP, and maybe even a cool pet or a cosmetic or even a mount at the end of it as a prize for, hey, you know, you completed this really hard difficult survival mode and you know here's a exclusive pet or here's an exclusive mount for you to show off to other players and of course this survival mode would be really difficult like, like let's say like every three uh waves so the, every like third wave uh, a boss will spawn in and you have to defeat that boss but on top of that you have like 10 other you know mobs around you attacking you and then as each wave goes on it'll be more and more mobs so you know wave one might have six mobs wave two will have 12 wave three will have 24 you know it just keep going on and on and on until eventually when it gets like wave 10 there's like you know 40 50 mobs around and they're attacking you and you have to you know survive you have to beat them all plus you have this boss that's attacking you at the same time and it'll definitely be like more it'll be a fun mode i think i think a lot of people would enjoy it but it'll definitely be like a more i guess team focused mode too because you will have to communicate with you know your other team members you know of, of let's say four or five you know other players you have to communicate with them and you all just you know have to regroup and you know face on you know the wave so i definitely feel like this would be beneficial to world zero something like this would honestly add a lot more to it like it'll give players something else to do other than to just grind level up grind level up and rinse and repeat basically so definitely survival mode is a must needed feature coming at number two we have pvp game modes now i've talked about this a lot recently i think i talked about it in some live streams and i might even bring it up in one of the q a live streams that i did with the developers uh but a PvP game mode would be very beneficial to this game. I feel like it will blossom in the community because there is a lot of people who do like to PvP or there's a lot of people who like to show off their gear and show off, you know, how, you know, overpowered their, their gear set is. And I feel like a PvP game mode will do that. Uh, you know, you can have different game modes like capture the flag where you go to the enemy's base, take their flag, and you have to make your way back to your base and, you know, basically cash that flag in or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and basically, you know, the first person to five or first person to 10 points, you know, they win the game, they get a little bit of gold, a little bit of XP. And who knows, you could probably have a whole ranking system with this, you know, a whole, whole leaderboard system with this. Maybe if you, you know, you win 10 PvP game modes, you know, you get a, you know, exclusive, you know, mount or pet that, you know, has a really unique ability. I feel like that would be really interesting and especially if you have like you know another game mode where you I, I, I guess I'll have to call this game mode takeover and basically you can take over different areas of the map uh, as your team and you know obviously whoever has like the most points because you get you get points based off of how many areas you take so let's say there's four areas right and let's say uh, you have three out of the four areas, you'll gain 10 points every uh, 30 seconds that you have, you know, more areas claimed than the other team does. And I guess like the first person that gets to 100 points, you know, will win the game. Something like that would be really fun and I feel like a lot of players would enjoy something like this because, you know, not only is, you know, PvP based, but it also has a little bit of just casualness to it. Like, you know, you don't have to necessarily go out of your way to fight other players. 
You can just sneak your way over, capture a flag, and sneak your way back and return it. Or you can sneak your way over when no one's looking and capture an area and then go on to the next area. Like, there's a lot of different play styles with this, so you don't necessarily have to, you know, go out of your way to fight other players if you don't want to do that. I honestly feel like PvP game modes should be in the game, especially since, you know, there's a PvP arena and it kind of draws that out a little bit. But I feel like we need more with this and yeah, PvP game modes, definitely a must need a feature. Now, coming at number one, we have probably the most requested feature. Okay, I feel like everyone in the community, when I, when I say this, I, I speak for everyone. We all want this feature. Now, this is guild ranking. Now, what I mean by guild ranking, you guys might be saying, oh, well, we have leaderboards, we have that. Like, what do you mean by guild ranking? What I mean is inside the guild, you have different ranks that you can promote your guild members to. So, for example, you have owner, co-owner, uh, you know, lieutenant, officer, veteran, you know, different ranks that you can give to your members inside of your guild. And certain ranks, you know, will give you certain abilities. Like, for example, co-owner and lieutenant and officer can invite players into the guild. And they can also, you know, derank players. Like, a lieutenant can derank an officer or a co-owner can obviously derank anybody underneath them. Stuff like that will, you know, just allow more, I guess, what should I say? It would expand the guilds a lot better. Like, you know, a lot of guilds, at least that I've seen, have died off because, you know, either the guild leader is inactive or, you know, something like that happens where everyone just leaves the guild because the guild leader is inactive and they can't invite new players or they can't keep up. And honestly, it'll just give, you know, a lot of the load off of the guild leader because as me, someone who was a guild leader of Dragon's Blood, I do sometimes feel like it's a bit much trying to keep up with the guild and trying to keep new players in and trying to, you know, kick out the old players who are inactive, who are taking up spots and try to invite new players who will play around for a bit and be active and, you know, it's just, it's just a bit much. So definitely having, you know, one or two other people in the guild who can invite other players and kick other players and stuff like that who can basically help me manage the guild, something like that. Will honestly be amazing and i feel like that's probably like the easiest thing to implement out of all you know three features that i talked about today two of them are really just you know i guess they could really be, be big updates of their own but this i feel like is really needed i feel like we really need guild ranking systems and i feel like without it you know guilds might that might not last that long you know every you know new season comes around you know you might have less and less guilds getting on and trying to rank up because you know they have players in their guild that you know aren't either playing as much or aren't active and those players are getting kicked and then they come back and they're upset because they got kicked so this would just add a lot more to it this would this will like clean up the guild situation a little bit if they added this in but uh, yeah guild ranking definitely needed all right, so there are my three features that I think World Zero should have. If you guys agree with me on any of these features, please leave a comment, you know, telling me, you know, hey, what features do you agree with? Uh, also, like the video, you know, if you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. And also hit that sub button because I will start, you know, uploading a bit more often now. You know, I'm not sick anymore and pretty soon I'm going to be moving out and moving into my new place. So that will also help out a bit because, you know, I want to, I want to be dealing with the whole moving situation. I'll be done with it. So, yeah, um, it's been your boy Takio. Peace out.